to... Ladies and gentlemen, and children of ladies and gentlemen, prized readers of the Jefferson Madison Regional Library System. Hello to you, and to you, I say hello. Welcome one and all. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jonathan Austin, better known as Jonathan the Juggler. Yes, indeed, a pleasure and an honor to be amongst you today. As you know, we are kicking off the summer reading program, and I hope everybody is reading as much as they can. A shout out to everybody in Crozet, Louisa, Scottsville, Northside, Nelson, Green, Gordon, any place. We say hello to you. Welcome one and all. With that, today I'd like to entertain you in the fashion in which you are no longer accustomed. Let me first show you something. I was in Crozet just a couple of weeks ago with my family, picking strawberries at Child's Orchard. Delicious in every way, shape, and form. Yes, indeed, I picked up something that spoke to my heart right here. It says, reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. With that, I urge each and every one of you to read as much as you can this summer. I know it's been a strange last uh, few months, if you will. With that, I'd like to show you some magic tricks and some juggling that I learned from a library book. Let's waste no more time. For you, check this out, friends. I bring out a red scarf. Many magicians, they use magic words like abracadabra, have a banana. They say hocus pocus, chicken bones choke us. Don't poke us in the eye. I have no time for those shenanigans. I want to use some real magic words for you. I place the scarf into my hand so all can see. Brace yourselves, here comes the magic. When I count the three, everybody at home, I want you to say, read, read, read. Let's see what kind of magic happens. Pay close attention. I place into the hand. Watch closely. <clears throat> you see it? Wouldn't want to be it. Then you would be crammed in my hand. I count the three. Let's say it. One, two, three. Read, read, read. Let's see if magic has happened. Bam. Look at that, friends. It vanishes into the thick of the night. Like any good book, quite a mystery. With that, let's see if I can make it come back in another mysterious fashion. Yes, indeed, it comes back in fine form, as it was. May I try this again? Yes, say I. Check this out. I place into my hand as before. Remember, the closer you look, the less you see. Let's see what mystery is entailed this time. Keep watching every move I make, every breath I take. When I count to three, say the three R's. One, two, three, read, read, read. Let's see if the magic has happened. Vanished as before, history has repeated itself. Watch my hands, watch my sleeves, watch every move. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a living. Yes, indeed, that's the mystery of the red scarf. Allow me to do some more for you. Let's see what I have next. I bring out a $1 bill. $1 bill, George Washington, who never told a lie. <laughs> how'd he get elected? Watch the $1 bill. Let me show you how to do a trick. Then I will do a magic trick just for you. Pay close attention. This is called the Upside Down George. Yes, indeed. I learned this in fourth grade. I hope you like it. You hold it on a bill like this, right side up. You fold it down like so. Fold it over left to right in the front. Now, if I open it up in the back and I open it up towards the audience, would you believe this? It's now upside down. Magic right there. Show you again, fold it down like this. If you just open it up the way you folded it, nothing happens. But if you open it up like this, you sit still for a second, open up the back, uh-oh, you have a great mystery to show all your friends and family. It's now upside down. 
May I show you another one? Allow me. You see the one dollar bill? You can fold a piece of paper in half seven times. Allow me to demonstrate. Check this out. Jefferson Madison Regional Library System. Yes, indeed. Here comes the magic. I fold once. Are you there? Twice. <gasps> Three times. I fold it up so small that you can barely see it. And now, the magic shall transpire. You must believe to receive. Check this out. Charlottesville and surrounding areas. The one dollar bill has turned into, wait for it, save it up, it's a $100 bill. Yes, indeed, a good trick to learn. If you learn that, you don't need to learn too many more magic tricks. So watch, you see it? It works the same. You fold it down in the front, fold it over. Oh my goodness, unfold the back, and you got it, just like that. Oh my, I tell you what, before I do more magic, you saw a scarf disappear, you saw a $1 bill magically turn into a $100 bill. Allow me to do some juggling. Yes, indeed. As you know, this summer's theme, imagine your story. So I imagine myself as a prized juggler. With that, when I was 12 years old, I learned how to juggle. I practiced, I practiced, and I drove my mother bonkers. Let me show you how I juggle. Here's what I have today. Ha <laughs> ha, nice, shiny, red, white, and blue juggling clubs. Before I juggle, allow me to fix my hair and juggle with flip. I think I'm ready now. Big beginning, I bring out not one, not two, not four, but three juggling clubs at once. Faster than a speeding turtle. Quicker than a postal employee. And charge. Bam. Yes, indeed, friends, and they're off like so. Juggling with flip. To amaze everybody now, I will juggle higher. Ta-da. <laughs> to Afton Mountain, to the mountaintops of Charlottesville. Let me go twice as fast. How about three times as fast? Oh my goodness, he's on to something there. And there's more. May I show you my flathead? <laughs> Flat is a pizza. Flat is a flounder. Flat is a library book. Oh my. <laughs> Here's one I think you will sincerely appreciate. A smart. Cultured, sophisticated crowd as yourselves. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> no more questions. Now to razzle, dazzle, wheel, and deal. I shall try two clubs using just one hand. Same low cost. Yes, indeed. I proceed to do it in the other hand, which the audience finds just as impressive. <laughs> Time to get fancy. When I say fancy, I mean fancy, dancy, no cheap stuff. Yes, indeed, you don't just wake up doing this. <laughs> ooh la la, la la ooh, wait for it, bam. You got the right one. Look at that, friends. My mommy is so proud of me. <laughs> I present, for dramatic effect, the warm-ups. For real? Oh my goodness, whoa. <laughs> now I'm talking, permission to land, can it be? Ha! Big finish. Thank you very much for your warm reception. Allow me to juggle some more. Let's have a trade in. Let's have some fun. That's what it's about. It is summertime. I'll put one juggling club aside. I bring out in element of danger, a baseball bat. For the Jefferson Madison Regional Library System, we swing for the fences. 
Yes, indeed, Grand Slam this summer. But I say one baseball bat, not enough to juggle. You deserve the best. Maybe if I put another juggling club aside and I bring out something that makes me the envy of all, the talk of the town, elephant's toothbrush, protecting me from harm each and every step of the way. Itchy scratchy, itchy scratchy. Allow me to freshen up. <laughs> I have these two objects. Today, I ask everybody to put aside their petty differences and unite together as one under rubber chicken. That's right, friends. Amazing, incredible, ridiculous. For the first time ever, I juggle bat, brush, rubber chicken. Watch as now the plot chickens. You're about to see poultry in motion. <laughs> if you want to laugh, you need to lower your standards. Let's get on with it. The perfect synchronicity of body and mind. Wait for it. Don't breathe. Oh my. Somebody throw me a fish. Ah, uh, timber, rounding the bases, slide, ole, cha. The crowd roars with approval, disqualified for steroid use. What else does he have? Allow me to show you some more magic. Let me put my hat back on so I feel like a magician. This right here, I bring out for you. It's a solar powered clothes dryer. Some of these jokes may be for your parents. Ladies and germs, boys and goats, children of all shoe sizes. I take the two pieces. I put the ends together. I, Jonathan Austin of Sound body and mind, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, play along. I'll go to the middle. Are you with me? I will now reach over and grab razor sharp scissors. Ha, cutting the rope in half. Now the magician has two pieces that are the same length. Uh, <laughs> Stay in school. Let's see if I can make them the same length before you. Oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. They are now equal in proportion. Watch the two pieces. Put aside their differences and become one, joining forces to fight all. Look at that, friends. Don't forget, read, read, read. Let me go to the middle. I cut once for everybody in Nelson County, for everyone in green, for everyone over there in Northside. Look at that. I wave dramatically for all the friends in Louisa and Scottsville. And believe it or not, the two pieces, yes indeed, wait for it, they become one once again. Now you don't need to study long and hard. Go to your library, get a book on how to do magic, and practice as much as you can. With that, let me do some more magic for you. Let me bring out something not even made for juggling. How about this? Before I do more magic. In Scottsville, I've been on the river a few times. We have canoe paddles. Oh my goodness. Friends, in an area the size of a postage stamp, I now juggle three canoe paddles. Yes, indeed. Tight corners. Can it be? Imagine your story. I imagine myself on a river. Yes, indeed floating down in a canoe. 
Let me go for it like so. Oh my. Whoa. Slide. Safe by a wide margin. Let's see what else he has today. This is one of my favorites. And I hope it's soon to be yours. As you can see, I'm blurring the fine art of juggling and magic. This leans to the magic side. Let's see what he has. I have a rope that's very long. Contrasting with a rope that's very small. Further contrasting with a rope that's very uh, medium. <laughs> Hit the books. Now friends, these ropes do not stretch. They do not shrink. But I hope you like the trick itself. Tricks are for kids, right, silly rabbit? Ha! It's called the professor's nightmare. It's also called my favorite rope trick. And with reason. You see, I take the rope that's long, I take the rope that's medium, and the rope that's small, and before your eyes, ears, noses, and all of your other vital organs that you need to read good books with, they become not one, not two, but believe it or not, all three the same size Yes, indeed, friends. Four years of college. Ha! It's okay to laugh. You didn't pay for it. Keep watching. You see the two pieces? Let's see if the two become one. That I think they do. One long rope. I think everybody will mutually agree upon that. But look at this, friends. Oh, my goodness. Two ropes, the same size. You give a magician enough rope, he'll show you a rope trick. You see? Three, two, one. At no point will the fingers leave the hands. Oh my goodness. Dramatic conclusion to the ropes that I have in my possession. There was a small. There was a medium. There was a long. As they say at the end of every fairy tale, <laughs> if elected, I promise I will. <laughs> they lived happily ever after. They never fought with their siblings. They always listened to their parents. You see, look at this. Medium, medium, medium. These are slip knots. They slip. <laughs> it's not funny if I have to explain the jokes. Brings the mystery to a most dramatic finish. The small, yes indeed, before you. The medium, drop the mic. The long, yes indeed, for you. Thank you. Let's see what else I have. Maybe this. Let's unleash the beast. I come in peace. Maybe if I bring out Bouncy balls. That's right. I learned to juggle when I was 12 years old. Look at me now. 10 years later, give or take 20 years, I'm ready. Boeing, yes indeed, watch as they bounce like never before. Oh my goodness, that's right. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Selfish, party of one, the hand. The elbow, the muscle, ooh. After the show, I'll get your pickle jars open and other incredible feats of strength. Oh my, good golly, Miss Molly. What if we try the two with one hand? Yes, indeed, the fun doesn't stop. Looks even better when I go like this. Ah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Really fast this time, pedal to the metal, Foot to the floor. What if I try three using just one hand? Oh my, ha ha. Takes a lick, keeps on ticking. My floor show, <laughs> picking up the pace. 
Let me stop like so. That was three. Now, after I learned to juggle three, I practiced even more. May I show you the fruits of my labor? I bring out another one, four at once. Oh yes, indeed, friends. Check it out right here, right now. Showtime, no time. Four, one, two, three, four. Yes, indeed, this will not last long. Oh my goodness. Faster than a snail dipped in molasses. I will now attempt five at once. That's right, the most, the maximum. To the mountaintop we shall fly, flying through the air with the greatest of ease. I bring out five at once. That's right, I'm going for it. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, indeed, friends. Three months of my life right here. Oh, my goodness. And the parts are all there. Allow me to take a small bow. Yes, indeed. Now forget these aside. I think we have time for a little more. Yes, indeed. Then you can find some good books to read. Let me get this out of the way. Allow me to really up the ante. Bring out my A game. I bring out these. Tennis rackets. Many jugglers would juggle tennis rackets flat-footed. For you, I go above and beyond the call of duty for the Jefferson Madison Regional Library. Where is he going with this, Your Honor? What if I bring out, oh my goodness. Have you seen one of these before? It's called a unicycle. A tricycle has three wheels. A bicycle has two wheels. A unicycle. <laughs> we'll now have somebody who uh, is acting like he doesn't know better. Against my better judgment, allow me to perch myself on one wheel. Yes, indeed. And charge. Oh, my goodness. That's right, friends. Up and down the mountain top synchronizing myself on a unicycle. What if I bring out this right here? That's right. Moms, you're about to see for the first time a man who can multitask. <laughs> it's not easy being cheesy. Let me go for it. Yes, indeed, friends, like so. Whoa. Oh, my. I was impressed. Allow me to come back down to planet Earth. Ha! Yes, indeed. A nice place to visit. Hmm. Now, friends, I'm getting a tad bit hungry. There are many fine establishments in which to eat food. Crozet Pizza is one of my favorite places. But let me bring out some apples. Oh, that's right, from Carter Mountain. You got it now. Check it out right here. We have some apples. But I'll tell you what. When you exercise in this manner, you get <clears throat> hungry. Now we talked about reading being exercise for the mind. It's also very important to go out and exercise this summer. Don't forget, you won't regret it at all. I'm trying to get back to my original weight. Seven pounds, four ounces. <laughs> anyway, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And an onion keeps everyone away. <laughs> With that, allow me to go for it. I shall try and bite one of the apples while juggling. You heard that correctly. Your eyes do not lie. Your ears do not deceive you. Let me go forth and charge. Oh, my goodness. Yes, indeed. Straight from Charlottesville. Let me try it again. And charge. Ah. Mm. Good to the last drop. All right, friends. Let me really go for the gold now. Ah, and charge. Ah. Touchdown. Home run. Mission accomplished. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
I hope you read lots of books this summer. I have one more trick for you today. Let me get ready for this extravaganza. Don't forget my motto for today. Reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. Read, read, read. I bring out this. A table. I place in plain view. I bring out a pan. <laughs> as empty as my wallet. Here comes the magic. Watch the pan, friends. Brace yourselves. Let me make sure I'm ready for right now. Like so, everybody see. I have traveled the world over to show you this right here. Magic. Many magicians, they have a rabbit. My goodness. Maybe in a, another episode, I'll bring out my rabbit. But this time, I want to show you something right here. Nothing too hard. Keep your eyes on the prize. I put the top on. I wave in dramatic form. And I say, presto. That's right. Presto. And read, read, read. And let's see what's come about. Oh my goodness, would you believe my pet guinea pig. Some of you have never seen a magician with a guinea pig. Eh, who's to say, right? This right here is my cohort, my trusted sidekick, Skittles the guinea pig. When I read books, I like to have my pet guinea pig with me. With that, I don't say goodbye. I'll see you a little later in the summer. We're off to a great start for the summertime. Thank you to all with the Jefferson Madison Regional Library System. I don't say goodbye. I say see you later. And I say read, read, read. See you soon, everyone. Jonathan Austin, signing off.